The other question, there's a lot on obviously the inverted yield curve and there's a very good question saying, you know, is it relevant in the three month period? Is it relevant longer dated? And well, historically, yes, an inverted yield curve. You don't have a recession without one, but when the yield curve inverts, it takes what, six months for a recession, 12, 18, two years. There have been examples of each. It's not about when do we call the beginning of the recession. That's not what it's about. It's about being aware of it and then looking for confirming data. So it's not about saying, when's it going to start? It's, well, we've got a setup. Now we're looking at data. Now we're seeing increases in inflation coming at a faster rate. Then we might just get a few downgrades and a few profits warnings, and you might start to get bearish. But it's your stock selections. Market can go up, stocks can go down, okay? So macro is such a beautiful subject, but you mustn't let it dominate and you mustn't let it be the primary reason for trades. It's really important to spot turns and we'll teach you how to do that. But most importantly, how does it affect your stock?